Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I am so excited. It's been a little bit since I've purchased this box. There's the pupper, there's the ducker over there. This is a 50 pounds bulk kids mystery rescue box from Thread Up. This is one of my favorite boxes. I love this box and I love the 200 pound bulk because this is going to be part one. I My goal with these boxes is before I even list anything to take the bulk of it to the buy sell trade store and most of the time i'm able to recoup all of my money from the original purchase and it just gonna depend on how many things i want to keep for my own kids so this box i think is great oh i hear you miss rose my duck is telling me she's ready for bed it is dark out this box is great if you number one enjoy kids clothes to me i think they're one of the easiest things to list i have three kids so the chances are there's going to be something in this box for my kids it's a way to get really cheap inventory my cost of goods is usually between the 70 and 90 cents mark i will count everything and let you know my cost of goods at the end if you don't follow me on instagram you should to get a glimpse of my ducks yes i have a duck that lives in my house now because she cannot walk this box is 120 dollars 50 pounds, it comes out to $127.80. I purchased this box on Monday. Today is now Friday and it arrived. This one came from Georgia. I'm going to insert a clip right now showing you what it looked like when I opened it because it was literally bursting at the seams. I rolled it in my house and I just kind of peeled a little bit and the whole thing just popped open. And then I just had Michael set the box up here for me. All right, I had to show you guys. There's Miss Rose. <laughs> but I did want to show you guys the top view because this thing, I, all I did was just peel off the tape. It wasn't even attached right here. It was literally just tape like this. Things are poking out. And oddly enough, like look, it's splitting at the seam. This box is full. I guarantee you it's over 50 pounds, but there's not a single thing that said thread up on it. I did peel off my address right here, but let's have a first look together since I won't be able to pick this up and show you. There's my receipt. $120. Ooh, I'm seeing lots of new items. We'll get into it all, but there's something new. Lots of packages new. I love this kind of stuff is so easy to list. There's a tag. Okay, so let's jump in and see what goodies we got. So I've got the box opened. I have just I see what's on the top, same as you saw. And so I've got some bins down here where I'm already kind of gonna generalize okay this is gonna go to buy sell trade i'm gonna keep this so here we go let's jump in this is jimboree size seven eight this is actually really cute and it is my middle daughter's size definitely something i would take to buy sell trade if it wasn't my kid's size so eventually it will make it there part two will be showing you guys what i got from buy sell trade how much they paid me out it depends on how my week looks, but usually I take the same items back twice. And then the leftovers I will send in for a partner kit. Oh, this is Volcom size large, a button up. This is nice. This is probably one that I would list myself, but we're gonna keep it. What is this? Okay, I see a tag, Wonder Nation, which is Walmart, but my buy sell trade loves it. But look, it's like all, I don't know what's happening here. So I know selling kid stuff is not everyone's jam, but you guys, there is money to be had in kids items. There really is. Okay, babe, it's because there was matching bottoms. This is a perfect thing for the buy, sell, trade store. One of the buy, sell trades I go to take stuff like this. These are just Target, Cat and Jack, zero to six months. These are Gap size seven ankle juggings. These are cute. These are from fall of 2018. I've said this tip before, but if you've not seen whether it's going to Play-Dohs or Style Encore, if there is a tag with a date, I do cut that out. Um, it's usually underneath all of this. Now, Jimboree, for example, the date is on the actual size tag. In that case, I don't cut it out. All right, these are some Arizona Jean Capris, which that's not really trendy even for kids right now, but they are girl size 10. Since they are new with the tags, a $30 price tag, they will take these white baby i've never heard of that and there's no tag in here so i'm not sure it doesn't feel that great so i'm thinking this is maybe like an amazon kind of thing that'll go to buy sell trade carters this is very much buy sell trade stuff oh this is a disney gap pajama set retailed for 34.95 which is crazy this is something i will list even though i'll probably get like 12 to 15 dollars plus shipping 
I will list this myself. This means that this has been authenticated. What is this? Kenzo. I did not know that they made kids clothes. Check this out. It's a size 14. This is cute. I wonder, I know that the adult ones of this, I mean, this retails for several hundred dollars. I would imagine I could probably get at least 50 bucks for a kid size. Okay. I see another plastic thing poking up. Hold on. This stuff is so jammed in here, you guys. Burberry. I've gotten Burberry in this kid's box before. Check it out. So they've already authenticated it. It's a size 10. It has cute sleeves. This is cute. I will probably list that myself. We've got some Adidas size small basketball shorts. I, I usually have to do it. See here, this is like typical kids clothes stains and it's not even a stain. This is like food. They like didn't wash these. So these will go through the wash and they will go to once upon a child. The cost of goods is so low and like all of the Carters and that the lower end brands, you could put bundles together. And if you are not somewhere that has a bins or maybe you don't have a buy, sell trade close to you, I could list all of this stuff myself. I've said it before, but out of my last box, I think I did for you guys, I ended up listing maybe 10 or 12 pieces total, but I recouped all my money from the buy, sell trade store, traded in to get some even better inventory and then kept stuff for my kids. So I love this box. All right, Justice size 12. These are some jeggings, leggings, leggings. Peppa Pig size 40. This is the first thing that feels quite worn. And actually I do see a hole right here. So I need to send an email to our kids' school and see if the clinic needs anything. Otherwise, I will donate that. Garanimals, six to nine months. So that's Walmart. Some cute little shorts. They're like in perfect condition. Handmade. These are some really cute like newborn, this is like the, the pantyhose style. I'm sure there's an official name, headbands. I'll list those. That's something like in kid is in, someone can bundle. All right, these are a girl's size eight bikini underwear, Cat and Jack. We'll keep those. Old Navy Active 10, 12, but these are short. These are girls' shorts. I will keep these because these are, Old Navy and Gap makes some good active wear. I love the Old Navy Breathe On. Okay, this is a Polo Ralph Lauren size extra large 1820 button up. It is new with the tags, but honestly, I really have a hard time selling this size myself and the buy sell trade store oftentimes won't even take it because they don't sell a lot of it. I feel like what this is the same size as a men's size small. So at this point, most young men, boys, um, older boys, are shopping in the men's section. So great brand, great that it's new with the tags. That'll go to buy, sell, trade. Another, okay, somebody sent in all their designer stuff. This is Oscar de la Renta, size six. Okay, so this one is missing a button right here. So like the second one down. I mean, you could technically wear it without that button, so. I don't know, I'll have to do some digging, see if it's worth my time. All right, this is Nike Dry Fit size extra large. These are fun. This is probably 10 to $15, but it doesn't bring me joy to list it. And so it's gonna go to buy, sell, trade. This is Vineyard Vines. This is that nice like, Pima Cotton t-shirt material. Kid size large, 16. I should sell it, but we're gonna keep it. Cat and Jack, six to nine months. Cat and Jack is also one of those brands on the inner tag. This is from 2018. Oftentimes, yeah, they just pull out like that. So, because these are just plain old jeans, but they do look at the dates and I mean, they could have these in the same exact style in the store right now, but because it's a little bit older, they wouldn't take it. All right, H&M, plain white polo, little lass. This is like, you can get these at TJ Maxx. Ross um, Tutti, just a little blouse. This Champion C9, so from Target, size 12 to 14. We've got a boys tie. Class Club Gold Label, 100% silk. Babe, why would this tie have like zip, like a zipper around it? All right, we've got Abercrombie, a puffer vest. Check that out for me. It is reversible. Well, that's cool. Hold on, we have a bag, let me show them. Let me show the people. Oh, come to make an appearance. You know they like you more than me, so come say hello. 
I don't see a size on this, so it'll go to buy, sell, trade. Show the people how it works. Wow. <laughs> okay, that is pretty legit. Thanks, babe. All right, we've got a baby gap size. Oh my gosh, I love baby gap. Size extra small, small, which means extra small is a four or five. This is adorable. I do list some baby gap, not all. Okie dokie, size 4T is 5T, size 5T size old navy, yep. <laughs> just a really cute little peplum. This is from May of 2020, so I will leave that date tag in there. I keep it within three years. We have Old Navy Power Soft High Rise, size 1012. This looks like it matches. Yep, Powder Soft, size 1012. How cute is this? All right, we've got some, these look vintage. Okie dokie baby socks, but that is not what their tag looks like now. Oh my gosh. Ruby and Bloom tight, size large, 710. I think this has said NART, actually I don't. NART, N-A-A-R-T-J-I-E. Brand no longer exists, so there is a following for it. I have sold several pieces of it, but these are just some basic leggings. I do see this at Once Upon a Child all the time. They always have good branding. They make cute stuff. It's kind of like Matilda Jane meets Oil Lily, which I don't even know if they make that one, and Katamini. You know, there's so many kids' brands that there is a market for them. Carter's 12 months, that will go. You guys, we haven't even made a dent in this. If you stick with this, you are like the real MVPs. H&M DC Comics collab, a little romper. Carter's three months. Oh my gosh. Stop it. This is a Disney Baby Gap collab, like a knit sweater. Oh my goodness. Because of the cuteness, I will list this. So if I took it to buy, sell, trade, yes, they would probably pay me out more for this than they would a Walmart, but I just, if they take 100 items, I divide it by what they give me. And like I said, I typically make, let's just say $1.50 per piece is, you know, my goal is a dollar per piece, but I'm going to make more, even though I'll only be able to list this for like $15. Because I think it's cute, I am more apt to actually list it and it won't sit in a death pile. So I just want to tell you, that's the difference. You know, why don't I list that baby gap item and I'm listing that? Because if it doesn't spark joy, it's going to find its way in a death pile tub and I'm trying to avoid that. What are you? STR3, so I'm guessing like size 3. I believe this is something for snow. We don't have that here, but it's like... Like windbreaker, but super thick. I don't, I don't know. This is something I will look up, but I don't know if my buy-sell tray will even take that because it doesn't snow here. There's some Nautica swim trunks, size 10, 12. My son has enough swim trunks, so off they go. Some Marvel Heroes, size small like pajama pants. These are super faded. This is probably just gonna get donated. Ooh, these feel like brand new, like board shorts maybe? Land's End size 14L, 14 long, 14 ladies. These seem big. I think these might be a 14 in women's. I don't know. All right, Cherokee size four. Buy, sell, trade probably won't buy those, but we'll try. We've got children's place size seven, eight, just some flare leg leggings. This definitely has wash wear. These are size 12 months. They're cute. Look, they're little acorns. I'll try. I mean, I lose nothing by taking it in, right? What are you? Oh, another tie. Okay, this one doesn't have the fancy. Look at that, what is this? Is this a tie that girls can, I mean, I know girls can wear ties, but like, this is fancy looking. There's no branding or anything. Oh, I see a tag. Kohl's incomplete set. So this is just a top. Now I will tell you, my last partner kit I sent in that I already processed, I sent in a couple Carters, just pajama tops, and they accepted them and listed them. Um, because buy, sell, trade won't buy just a pajama top. So that will probably make its way right back 
to thread up and I will get paid out like 35 cents, which is better than nothing. Oh, my son used to wear stuff like this. This is Carter's and they make the cutest little jumpers, rompers, overall things. This is, I was like, this looks like a set you would get at TJ Maxx and indeed it still has a new with a tag, TJ Maxx tag. So this was part of a set. So we'll try it. Cotton On Kids. I love this brand. Cotton On. I think they make women's clothes too. This is my daughter's size and I love this color. And so we will keep this. And if I wasn't keeping it, this is one that I would list. This is cute. Cat and Jack. It says love every bunny. And it does show a little bit of wear, but because we're coming up on Easter, I bet they'll buy it. Uh, this is Little Me, 12 months. Same thing. You find this brand everywhere. This is Zara. It's like that super shiny, crinkly. Yeah, but it smells super strong. So let's hope they buy that from me. Otherwise, I might list that myself, but I'm not dealing with the smell. All right, just another Carter. Kiki pants. Yes, this is. Oh, and it's so bodysuit. So we're not missing a piece. New with tags, Kiki pants. This is an incredible brand, even for, for moms, like pajamas and such. It's bamboo. It's a size nine to 12 months. This is a, an expensive kids brand. My son loves pajamas by them. They're not cheap. This is new with a tag. And it looks like it just came directly from Kiki. I will list this myself. This is adorable. So just, it's a, got a blue thing with a K on it, a blue tag. Try to remember that, Kiki pants. That's a good one to pick up. I have sold stuff even in terrible condition, even with holes, people will still buy it. Garanimals, just a little top. Cat and Jack. Oh, you know what? This is the brand again, Nar Nardy. <laughs> um, this, I think it does, size, Small four years, small four years. Hot diggity dog, I got me a set here. This is going from the Once Upon a Child bin. I'm gonna list this myself. Mud Pie, super cute brand. A little pricey, you can buy it like in Cracker Barrel, like little mom and pop, little boutiques and such. Here's the tag. This is gonna go to buy, sell, trade. Oh, I see this set. I love that I'm getting this set. This is Burt's Bees Baby which I have sold this. It's organic cotton. Their stuff is, is a little pricey. This is precious, but it really doesn't have any wear. It was probably worn one time for Easter last year. Thanks for sticking with me, guys. Arizona jeans, seven, eight, that will go. Uh, this is Cat and Jack size six, little eyelet shorts at Old Navy, 5T. We don't wear long sleeves. When it's cold, we just throw on a little sweater or a jacket. This is Cat and Jack, size extra large, 16. All right, this is Wonder Nation, size 7, 8. Just a cute little skirt. Carter's, nine months. Jumping Beans, size 6. And honestly, like, the condition has been great. Lucky One, size 12 months. Perfect timing also because they're going to be buying um, St. Patrick's Day stuff. Pat Pat, this is just like Wish. Shein, not good quality, but super cheap. These are a whole bag of socks, slew of colors. Oh, they put them in little knots. Just, they must have just opened up the white ones and been like, no, nah, we're good. All right, this looks like a handful of little baby stuff. Yep, Carter's, nine months. Carter's, nine months. You know, it just depends on the day of the week if they're gonna take these things or not. Carter's, nine months. But you see what I'm saying? Like these. This is also Carter's nine months. All of this stuff coordinates. Look, there's even these cute little pants with sparkles. So if you're just needing inventory, this, you could sell all of this together for like $15. The ones when a child sells onesies like that, 12 months and under, they all the time have a 10 for 10 sale, at least at my location. So you're just not gonna get a lot selling online. And I think that's why people are like, oh, kids clothes. Meanwhile, I sold a Lily Pulitzer dress this morning for $50. That was a girl's size seven. I think this goes with that um, Shamrock onesie. Some Wrangler shorts, Carter's 24 months jeans. Gap, size extra large. Oh, that's cute. It says love. Oh, these are precious. Size zero to three months. Look at these little board shorts. Oh my goodness. All right, first impressions, just a little t-shirt. So we are getting into some baby stuff, which is not my favorite. This is cute. Old Navy, little dinosaur. Absorba Baby, and that is a really cheapy little brand. We got some more onesies. 
Oh my gosh, that one is actually really cute. Let's see, Modern Moments, Dr. Seuss, zero to three. We'll see what they take after going twice. Oh, this, this is so cute. Another, my son's nursery was in, this was, we had a mural painted that said this behind his crib. So cute. Baby Gap tights, so these are those nice, thick tights. These are from fall of 2022. So somebody just bought these or got them for Christmas and sent them off to um, thread up. I will list those. Keds tights, these also look super vintage. Size large, 11, 13. That's definitely juniors, not kids. No boundaries. It was $12.88 from Walmart. This is like a high low. This is not in style anymore. Thread up does not take Walmart clothing. They will take it in kid sizes, not junior sizes. Same thing for Target. They will still take Cat and Jack and all of that. I'll toss this in my Play-Doh's bin, but that's probably going to end up needing to be donated. That shouldn't have been in this box. Cat and Jack, extra small. This is Cat and Jack, extra small again. Extra small is four or five. Children's Place, three to six months. My last box did not have hardly any baby stuff. So we got Old Navy, three to six months. Cat and Jack, size seven, eight, just plain black leggings. Another Old Navy, three to six months onesie. Cat and Jack, size large, 10, 12, just a basic white tank. Jessica Simpson, size small. Um, don't know what size her small is, but you know what? When there's a, a keyhole button on the back, maybe it's just my girls, their hair gets stuck in this. So if it weren't for that, I would keep this for my girls, but it's gotta go. My buy, sell, trade will not purchase Gerber onesies. They're just so cheap and plain. And so those will have to get donated. This is just like an Amazon or Wish kind of deal. Probably a knockoff of something really nice, but it's like that gauzy material. They'll probably buy that. Children's Place size 14. I have found that the children's, that's cute, buy sell trade stores are absolutely not as picky when it comes to clothes. They've gotta be in good condition, but it doesn't matter what's on it, what the style is. I don't think they take Gerber. This is very worn. Olive Juice. This is a good brand. I have sold it a few times. Olive Juice, 100% lamb's wool, extra small. I will probably list that one myself. We've got Carter's, Carter's, just a bunch of onesies. Some Babies R Us, that's a throwback. Another Dr. Seuss, there was obviously a set of them. Plain old onesie. This is Izod, one size, a tie, new with the tags. I don't know if they take ties. Beta Glory, leggings. Oh, sweetie. I think it's probably nothing then. Um, but look at how cute this little jacket is with the elbow patches. That's adorable. I think this is mother care, actually. There's even a spare button. I think that's, yep, mother care. It's made in England. That's the logo. It's a girl size five, six. I'll look that up. Knitwork size 10, 12. This is one that you see like at TJ Maxx. Oh, this is a great brand. Peek, P-E-E-K. My son has all, like, all of his graphic shirts. This is a girl size six, seven, but I will list this one myself. That is a great kid's brain to look for, especially the graphic shirts that have like Disney sayings. Uh, those are gonna, like there's one, um, Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Those will get you some money. Okay, more Carters, Old Navy. I love, this is size zero to three months. When Oshkosh, size four or five. This definitely looks vintage, but it looks like it's still in good shape. A windbreaker. Cat and Jack girlfriend jeans, size 10. So these are cute. I will probably keep these for her. And they're just from um, 20, summer of 2021. Adidas, size extra large, 1820. This feels brand new. Gap Kids, Gap Factory, size large. Adriana Goldschmied, the Colette button front skirt. All right. I have sold the Adriana Goldschmied twiggy pants and jeans in girl sizes. So I will list that. Jenny and me, it looks like the size tag was cut, which is why I spread up didn't take it. Pumpkin Patch, another higher end boutique brand, like Mud Pie, only a little better, size two. Oh, this is adorable. 
great brand. So I hope even if you don't sell kids clothes, if you've made it this far, uh, maybe you're learning some brands. Hatley is a great women's brand as well. It's a size four. I would keep that for us, but we it would actually still fit my almost eight year old. I will list that myself. Another Adidas size 10, 12. These I will keep for my son. This is what he wears these days instead of pajamas, which makes me sad. Calvin Klein jeans, just a cute like Western style button up. This is genuine kids, but it's got, I don't know, a size medium. I mean, it's, it's cute. I like the neckline. It's very like boho ish. And once upon a child sells stuff like that. So ooh, please be something good. Oh, this is a giant. This, this is Tommy Hilfiger size extra large. Like here's one armpit. Here's my other armpit. Look how much is left. I don't think this is kids. Yay! 80% down. 20% feathers. Sorry, Miss Rose. So this is filled with duck feathers. This is probably actually worth, like look at the patch on the side. I'm gonna have to do some digging. That might be worth a little something. Carters. I can see the bottom though. This is cute. Children's Place, size seven, eight. Summer Vibes, Bestie Squad. My girls love these kind of graphic shirts. I think they're obnoxious. I will let go Amy keep this because this is just so her. This is Zara size two, three. This has pearl snaps. This is actually really cute. I actually might list this. Cherokee size 16, just a little boy shirt. Yes, Zara girl size eight. A skort though. My daughter's always wanting to wear skorts, but I wish the shorts underneath were biker short style because this does nothing. Her little butt cheeks still hang out. So that's a no go for me. Um, So, Again, skirt, buy, sell, trade will love to take that from me. This is Cat and Jack, size 8, 10. My son also loves these like obnoxious shirts. H&M Basics, Gerber, yeah, little Gerber sleeper. Crazy 8, size 7, a little skirt. Carter, size 3 months. Ooh, I know this print. These are going to be mini Bowden. Yes, size 4, 5. We love to see it. This brand will always sell. I will list these. I have sold these exact style in a bigger size. And size eight, little girl's bathing suit. Okie dokie, two T. Old Navy, size five T. Cat and Jack, two T. Cloud Island. I love the kids box too, because there's just so many pieces and so many mysteries. This is B-Bay, size 18 to 24. I've sold that. I think it's sold at Nordstrom. Mac Studio Kids. I'm pretty sure this is one of the, this comes with like little dresses or overalls like a TJ Maxx. Justice, I knew it. Size 12. Cat and Jack, size 4, 5. Just a button up. Whole Reaction, size 18 months. Those always came as like little sets. Oh, this is a great brand to know and remember. This is Mia Joy. Um, same company as Joy Foley, J-O-Y-F-O-L-I-E. So they're little boots and gladiator sandals and floral items. Uh, this is a very expensive little kid's boutique. This is adorable. Size four. I will list that one myself. Spider-Man. Old Navy, just a pajama top. What is Colorado Timberline. Slytherin. This is fun. Delaney, my wild middle child, is a Slytherin, 100%. We are Harry Potter fans around here. Like, I feel like she would like to wear that. Mm -hmm. Another pajama, just top though. I wonder if there's bottoms to those. Old Navy 2T also. This, the whole size is worn off. This looks like a women's shirt. What does it say? Iowa versus all? The only, only the second piece that I have put over in like the, this is garbage pile, so that's good. Children's Place, size 5'6". Puma size 6X, some nice uh, athletic pants. Cat and Jack size 10, 12. That's cute. I love a good graphic tee. We'll keep that. Delaney can have that one for a summer shirt. I honestly can't tell you, other than using my Gap partner kit gift cards, the last time I paid full price for any clothes for my kids. Between the bins, these boxes, Justice size one size. Oh, it's a scarf, I bet. Yeah. Yeah. I will let them have this because it's pink and 
we love glitter and all things pink around here. Old Navy size 10, 12. This is good for my son. He's got a lot of printed style shorts. Ch Chams? Never heard of this. These are weird. I don't know. <laughs> oh, I feel like we had this shirt. It's Jake and the Neverland Pirates. I'm so sad they got rid of that. Oh, there's a hole in the neck. Otherwise, I would have listed this just for nostalgia. How cute is that? And we've got another Old Navy size 2T. They look brand new, just the bottoms. We've got Children's Place size 4T. Chickpea size 3 to 6 months. That looks like half of a PJ set. They won't take that. Cat and Jack size 10, 12. Oh, this is cute. It says dance. Emporio Armani Baby, size 3 to 6 months. This is Zara, size 9. See, at least Zara makes a size 9. These are amazing. And look, they are bell bottoms. They are 55% linen. I have to list these myself. These are cool. This is Pippa and Julie, which I think you can get that at like Nordstrom Rack, size 3T. If this was any bigger, I would totally keep this. Like, how... Okay, tech support is back again. Oh my gosh, you guys keep falling it's not, over. It's not tech support, this is... Michael is literally just holding you still, guys, I, for the last couple items. If this is shaky, I'm sorry. TJ Maxx from 2011. Something that my daughter will want. <laughs> it's Cat and Jack, what is it, a dog? That's a... Dressed up in a, as a ghost, or is it just a dog? No, that's the, the Lhasa Apsu, or <laughs> <laughs> whatever it's called, I don't know. A Lhasa Apsu, a Lhasa Apsa, Lop Yes, I don't some... know. It's the dog with long hair. It looks like a mop. You're right. You're right. That's cute. I'll keep that one with the dance one. And we can laugh on this when she wears it in like four years. <laughs> Nike size extra large. This will fit you, Those babe. Those are men's. These are not a men's extra large. They won't fit me. <laughs> I bet they would. They are long enough to fit you. They're too long. I hate shorts that long. <laughs> I'll touch my knees. We learned recently that Michael can fit in most boys like size 18, 20 because he wears a size 31 waist. Okay. So remember we had two two Halloween just bottoms and two Christmas just tops that are all like brand new and they do not match. So somewhere out there, I bet you somebody has the matches. I can't do anything with those. Size small Capizio. We will keep this um, for a ballet class. Lovely. Old Navy Active, Breathe On. That's the line that I love. Size 8. Cat and Jack, 4-5. This is Andy and Evan, size 2T. Just something you get at TJ Maxx, but it is really cute. Truly Me, which I think is Heidi Klum's kids line. She can wear that this summer. That would be really cute, with a little pair of leggings. All right, this is Zara, size 8. Again, very similar to the other one. Uh, so this is the second one. Something else that Michael could fit in. Nike size small dry fit. Now these, I, I actually think these are men's. All right, someone sent all their men's stuff in. Now this is youth extra large Under Armour. Youth extra large and men's small are like the same size. Look at the length. The men's small is shorter than the extra large. That's what it should be. <laughs> Let's talk about it. How much I love emojis. Oh my gosh. <laughs> so they, once my child won't take that, I'll keep that for my own kid as a throw down, get, do crafts in because they wouldn't take it anyway. I can't say that I'm confident that I'm going to recoup $127 at the buy sell trade store this time because of how many undersized 12 months items there are. I had three pieces of designer clothes. It's not a kid's extra large. This might even be men's. You think it's a men's extra large? It's huge. So I don't know. You're going to have to stay tuned to part two. Made it this far. Please let me know and say I made it to the end. And um, I'll be right back just to close it out real quick and let you know exactly how many pieces I got. So for our final cost of goods. If you hung with me, you watched me touch 195 pieces. Definitely the most I've ever received. 66 cents per piece and that red Tommy Hilfiger jacket Michael did sit here and it is from the early 1990s it is indeed a men's size extra large there's one listed on Depop for $80 so we'll see I'm gonna get it cleaned up get it listed 
there's not a lot of pieces that need to be washed. I feel like my last box, I had to wash like half of it. I will report back in part two and let you know exactly how many pieces I'm taking to buy, sell, trade. Well, I will give you all those details in part two. I'm going to bed. Thanks for watching, guys. See you in the next one.